This is a sweet speaks. Right outside my hotel window, there's a bunch of police cars. I don't know if they are planning on using this today, but they might. So I'm in Gothenburg, and uh, this is a very, this is a Swedish convenience store. You can f you find them everywhere in Sweden, and I intend to go there to get one of these 15 kroner hot dogs before I go look for uh, if there are any protesters out on time ta on town. I'll go to the Eriksberg Hall and the Eriksberg Hall where the meeting is, and if I can't find anyone there, I will go downtown to a place called Avenin where I suspect they might might gather. Uh, there is also an information sign here telling us that. Uh, during these days, uh, public transportation will be disturbed by the EU EU summit. And I think we have some uh, policemen or something over here. Some kind of security guard. Yeah, there is something. Okay. So I'm in Gothenburg. Uh, the meeting is in this building, in the Eriksberg Hallen, the Eriksberg Hall. And as you can see, there is a heavy police presence. So I guess around here we won't find any, any black police. Uh, yes, Eric Spade is the name of this part of Gothenburg. So I will take a bus or a tram downtown and see if anything is going on there. I Actually, I hope nothing is going on because this city has been tormented by black bloc people way too much. Anyway, I'm going downtown to take a look and see if I can find anything there. Although some of these uh, left-wing uh, crazy people uh, sprayed anti-fascism is self-defense on a container. Uh, I guess they think this is a good idea. I don't think uh, that's a good idea, but you know. And uh, someone sprayed Jesus is fat, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but, uh, well, fat is like something good, so I hope you mean something good by it. Okay, going downtown. So what I'm noticing everywhere in Gothenburg today, it's the heavy police presence. You see police cars, you see policemen almost everywhere. And that's really unusual to be in Sweden. But I guess they have a reason. I'm standing by Gustav Adolf Square. Gustavus Adolfus Square. The here is Gustav Adolf. Or Gustavus Adolfus. Oh, here he is. I almost didn't see him. Uh, he was the king who founded Gothenburg. And uh, I think there's going to be an alternative meeting here in a few hours, so I will return here and film if something goes on here. Uh, but right now, I'm going back to my hotel for a few hours, and I will, then I will go here to see what's, what's going on. So, here's a last look at, uh, at King Gustavus II Adolphus. <laughs> So what's going on here is the alternative EU summit in Gothenburg, something that the left arranged. And uh, well, I'm not fond of, uh, of the EU. I don't think I'm fond of these people either. There are people selling communist papers and... Well, they have gathered around uh, the statue of King Gustavus Adolphus. There doesn't seem to be that much people. A few hundred perhaps. So I guess that's it. Now I'll, I'll go have fish and chips and celebrate my 40th birthday. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. This is actually interesting. Uh, they have a Norwegian speaker. I know, I know who this guy is. You know, I used to be a socialist, but I gave up on that crazy idea. So I have met this guy, and he just called the EU a neoliberal uh, project or a market liberal project. 
which is, I guess, as far, as far from the truth as you could get when the EU is rather a centralist, a globalist thing, but it's got nothing to do with, with market liberalism, which is something else than the liberalism of the Democrat Party, of course. But, well, he's dead wrong. I just wanted to point that out. The sign says uh, Sweden to leave EU. Fix it. Well, I agree with that. So, well, I agree with that at least. Although probably not for the same reasons. So yesterday when I got to Gothenburg, I had Swedish pizza at the hotel. And today I am celebrating my 40th birthday with fish and chips in this place. And uh, I think that's about it. I might go to that store too, because they have some funny stuff. 